So this is the last, I hope, D-Stash video. And I'm going to run through real quickly the mystery bags that I have put together, just trying to clean things out of the huge pile of D-Stash so I have room to, I don't know, maybe put the car in the garage. What a concept, right? So first up, we have lace. Now, what I'm going to tell you about the lace is that I have mixed the old with the new. I have mixed stuff that has been tea dyed or was cut into different pieces because I was going to bundle them for some botanical printing. So if you're somebody that wants only the new lace or only the vintage lace, this is not the deal for you. But this is a sample, and I'll just flip through here, in one of the lace packs. So we've got some nice white appliques. We have pieces, because you know, when I was doing all the Just Because books, I was forever grabbing clothes at the thrift store that I could cut up. I was looking for other bargains. We have some sparkle stuff. I mean, really, there is all kinds of lace in here, and I will fill one of these bags as much as I can. Really, I mean, here's, oh, this was a great piece of lace. So there's big pieces. There's little pieces, like I said, there's appliques. There is just all kinds of stuff. This was stuff that had been tea dyed. There is cotton, there is some polyester, there is who knows what. So if you like to have just a really neat collection to go through and look for your next textile project, you're gonna find some duplicates if I had a lot of something. You can go through and dye them all yourself so they all match. I was going to do a buried project where I put some in the ground for a while. Just That's why I've got so many different sized pieces because I had all these things. They were all kind of lined up like an assembly line. Uh, so this is the large lace pack. And let's see, they are going to go for $35. All the prices on these mystery bags they're all going to include the shipping, so you don't have to worry about that. That is the large lace. I did have enough left over to make an even bigger box. So I have one jumbo box of lace. I'm not going to go through every piece, but you can see, just like the others, it's going to be a mix of old and new, some tea dyed, some not, and this large box will go for $50. I have linens. I have all kinds of linens. I had all these ideas about making Just Because books and slow stitch projects. Uh, some of these are really nicely um, still, what do they call it, starched. And they might have just a little bit of cut work at the edges. There are over 40 pieces. There are hankies. There are beautiful napkins. So there are over 40 pieces in each. Oh, look at this old, old fabric. So thin you can see through. There's just all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, some of it might have holes in it. Some of it might have stains because I did buy old stuff. If there's new stuff in here, I didn't buy it new, but I might have grabbed it at the thrift shop. There's plain. There's fancy. Look at that beautiful towel. This would be so yummy to stitch on. Some nice cut work. So every box is different. I only have three of those boxes. And like I said, there's over 40 pieces. Oh, and every box has a pair of these antique um, pantaloons. I got three of these from a gal. At least she told me they were antique. So there's just, you would be busy stitching for a long time. Oh, this feels really good. I'll try to correct the lighting in post on this, but honestly, if I wait any longer, I won't get these videos done. Look at that. How cool is that? So here is one great big pile of mostly vintage linens. I'm, I'm going to say mostly because I don't know for sure. I have three boxes, and they're going to go for $75 each. Okay, next up is the large fabric pack. And this has been, um, I, I pulled apart a bunch of my small fabric packs that I had in the shop for so long, any of those that were left. So these are some nice size pieces, uh, great for journal making, great for slow stitch. 
and there is really quite a variety in here. There's some shears, some Tim Holtz fabric, and I tried to figure out how much I could cram in one envelope, and it is a lot. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, there's some duplicates because I had a lot of this size of fabric things left over, so you'll get maybe two kits, music stuff. I mean, there's just some really interesting materials in here. There's a bunch of shears, which are a lot of fun to play with. There is a small amount of upholstery fabric, which makes some great journal covers. And each one will have something like this. This was one of the Just Because Blue kits. And then as I found extras of little odds and ends, I put them in there. So this is the large fabric mystery envelope, and it's gonna go for $35. And there will be a small uh, fabric envelope as well, but I don't have that out here for photos at the same time. All right, I had so much of this that I decided that the black deserved its own envelope. So I have two envelopes of black. I guess you would call it lace fabric. I mean, there are big pieces of this. All kinds of black lace fabric and some flat lace. If you've got a Halloween project you're working on, this might be just what you are looking for. So I've got two of those and they will be $35. And let's not forget the colored lace. A wide variety of the colored laces. Uh, I guess it's lace fabric. There is some actual lace in here. A few big pieces like this, but for the most part, it's more like the lace fabrics. And these are, you know, you can eco dye these and you get some really interesting results. That's what a lot of these were cut apart for. Um, you can have a lot of fun with it. So I have a couple of those and they will be $35. And remember, everything includes the shipping. Okay, so all of this de-stash stuff, shipping included. Now I have got some sorry silk fabric, um, mostly decent sized pieces, a few small pieces. And gee, I'd collected this, I had big projects. There's a lot of the green, I mean, it's a huge piece in this brown. And so I'd been collecting it and then realized, uh, you know, I wasn't really using patterns. And a lot of this is patterns. So there is some neat variety. They all pretty much go together. I've got three packages of those and they are, let's see, they are 20 bucks each. Now, of course, I can't forget the paper lovers because paper was my happy place for a long time. So... This is the large paper pack, and in it you get two packages of the handmade paper. This has got the mulberry paper and just all sorts of different papers in here with the inclusions. So you get two sets of those, and they're different ones. I No, I shouldn't say that. I think those pretty much have the same in each one. You get a packet of painty papers. You get two packs of tissue paper. You get one pack of nature uh, botanical pages, one pack of nature ephemera, one pack of butterflies, and then you get one of these little things, which is a little kit I put together and forgot to make a video about, but it's got some paper and fabric so you could make some very small just because books. And let's see, the large, large paper packs are gonna go for, uh, you guessed it, $35. So now I have a smaller paper pack. You get one of the handmade papers, one of the botanical pages, book pages, one of the nature ephemera, one metallic, two tissue papers, and one of the little kits. And the smaller paper pack's gonna go for $25. Okay, I kept all this lace separate. I didn't put any of this in the lace packages because some people like to work with it and some don't. But these are tablecloths. Uh, these are like two small round tablecloths and 
doilies, but they're thicker. They're not lace thin, they're crocheted with a thicker yarn, but I can get them all into one medium flat rate box and that will go for $40. That stuff uh, dyes really nicely too. And then I have one large box. Again, some people like to work with this kind of stuff and some people don't, so I just decided to put it all in one big box and you guys can decide. And this is, you know, we all saw these tablecloths, right, at the thrift shops. So this is a huge tablecloth, uh, some doilies, like we would find at Nana's house, right? This is part of a curtain. Here's some lacy fabric. And this is another round tablecloth. And so I can fit all that in a large flat rate box and that will go for $50. Now I think I'll have a few more things that I will put in the shop, but I won't add to this video so I can get this over and done with. Thank you everybody for helping me clean out the garage.